channel the soaring senior family and a happy friday welcome back to another friday mommy moment with me if you're new here i am ivy go ahead and smash the subscribe button ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video come on and join our family the first thing that we do here on fridays is friday shout outs and today i want to give a special shout out to i'm hoping i'm going to say it right chiflante Shiflante has twins. She also has a toddler and she is expecting another surprise bundle. So I wanted to give a shout out to her. She is right here on YouTube and I'm going to link her channel. That is the kids inside. Mm -hmm. I am going to link her channel right here so you guys can go and check her out. Shiflante, thank you so much for supporting this channel. Thank you so much for always encouraging me and I appreciate you just for being a you okay all right you guys let's jump into this week's topic but first let's check out what's new on the etsy shop check it out be sure to check out Seabra Creations at EtsyShop.com where you can get customized Moment Mugs and Moment Mugs designed by the Soren Seward family. We look forward to sending you your very own Moment Mug. And remember, all you need is a moment. All right, you guys, today I wanted to come and share with you what was on my heart, like always. Well, you know that it is springtime. And even though the sun is not shining right now, it's beautiful. It's spring. It's when everyone is planting seeds. They're in their garden. Flowers are looking all fresh. You turn it over that soil so you can plant some seeds. Get the hint, plant some seeds. We have just started our garden. And I think we started with, we have some peppers, some cucumbers, some tomatoes, and we have some bell peppers. So as I'm watching them grow, I thought, you take this seed and you plant it in the soil. After a few weeks or so, you start to see the seed come to life. You start to see it transition. And it has been so fascinating because for me, I'm usually dealing with houseplants and I get to see them grow and they get to do their thing. But when it comes to planting seeds and actually watching it grow, it's so intriguing. <laughs> it's exciting. So I'm thinking and I'm like, you know, I think that I need to plant a seed. You should plant a seed. But what if I decided to plant a seed within myself and water it with the word of God? Water it with everything that he is teaching me and dealing with me on everyday basis. Because we all know you reap what you sow. And I'm like, God, there's so many things that I want to come forth. But what if I decide to take my seed and say, God, water my seed because I want to expect a harvest after this summer, after this spring. What if we was to plant a seed right now and allow it to be watered by God within us and start expecting a harvest? When I plant those seeds in the back, I was like, yeah, the directions say if I do this, this, that, that, I should see something. But what if I took the seed that I am expecting to grow and I say, Father, God, I have this seed and I'm going to plant it and I need you to help me grow it. But I know I only can grow it with you and I believe that. And and I checked on it and I watered it and I continued to pick the weeds that's growing around my seed and I continue to pick the weeds that start to peek their head up and like get out of here you're not gonna grow near here and get out of here and get out of here and continue to water it and check on it and love on it because I'm expecting a harvest but what if I had that same expectancy from God which he say bring it to him so as I was thinking about this, I was like, I have to share this because I'll go first. I am going to take a seed of bravery and I want to plant it and I want to water it 
with what God has for me. I'm gonna water it with what God tells me, and I'm gonna water it with what God says His promises is. And when I say bravery, I wanna be able to be more bold with my relationship with God. I wanna know that when things get too tough in life, that my bravery, this seed that I am going to plant within me and water it with God's word, that it is going to start to grow. Get the weeds out and the weeds can be doubt. The weeds, fear. The weed, negativity. Pull it out and continue to use God's word to water my seed of bravery so I can be bold when dealing with life as such as this pandemic and whatever else that comes our way. Do you have a seed? Is there something in your life that you are expecting? Something in your life that you want to grow? Self-esteem, loving yourself, being patient with yourself, being a better person, a better wife, a better mom, a better father, a better guy. What in your life do you want to take that seed and plant it within yourself and say, God, I'm going to give you these seeds and I need to water it with you because I want to grow and I'm going to expect a harvest. So you guys, we reap what we sow, but why not reap something that is going to be a good harvest to us? Be bold, be confident, stand strong when it comes to your life and be bold with Jesus Christ. So I wanted to come and share that with you and also show you how I planted those seeds and I'm expecting a harvest from them cucumbers, those peppers, those bell peppers, those hot peppers. But also I'm gonna take these seeds that I have to give to God and I'm gonna expect the harvest. So you guys remember you reap what you sow and I definitely believe that there are some seeds that you can plant in your life and God will show up and your harvest will blow your mind. So I'm expecting my seeds to blow my mind, but I have to do my part. The same way I go check on my garden and make sure that there's things not around and I try my best to keep the weeds out. I'm even going to go get a gate and you know, put little things around it to protect that seed. Cause I believe that if I do my part, the seeds are gonna do theirs. So I believe that if we do our part, God is gonna do his part. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you dealing with me. Are you dealing with me? Do I bore you? No? It's okay, we still good? We good? All right. Until next time, stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people just like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Seawood family, you are needed. Peace out, great people.